Good morning, good afternoon, hello Facebook. Wow, it's been a minute since I've been on, but this is Lady Victoria with Victoria School of Etiquette where we offer a solution to your etiquette dilemmas. I am your etiquette educator and your life coach, and I'm so pleased to be back on Facebook on this morning. Listen, like I said, it's been a minute, but I just wanted to come on right quick and share just some information um, about some of what's been going on with uh, VSECT, which is an acronym for Victoria School of Etiquette Training and Consulting, and myself, Lady Victoria, my personal self. <laughs> Things have been changing. I have been in transition. I have been preparing for several months to um, make my transition and I, I, I finally got it. I finally got it. I'm so excited about what's going on. Um, good morning and thank you for joining the part broadcast. Please feel free to like and share and to add your comments in the comment section on below. But I'm really truly excited about what's going on and, and um, about where I am and all of that. I really, <laughs> listen, I kind of had a script so I would know where to begin and how to start. But every time I begin talking about it, I just get excited beyond measure. And um, I'm going to try and just go through it real quick. But anyway, I usually start off with my tagline, broadcasting to you live from the Great Windy City of Chicago. Chi-Town is what we like to call it. We are the best in the Midwest. That is usually how I start. Good afternoon. Thank you for being here. Um, that's how I do my introduction. But... I have to change my introduction. I have to change how I do that part of my introduction. Instead of saying, broadcasting to you live from the Great Windy City of Chicago, Chi-Town is what we like to call it, we are the best in the Midwest, I have to transition and say, broadcasting to you live from the big state of Texas, where we do things in a big way. Yes, I am now a resident of Texas again for the second time. Um, some of you might know that I did move to Texas about eight years ago um, and it was so, supposed to be my forever home when I moved there then, when I moved here then, but it wasn't for a while. I ended up coming back to Chicago and transitioned there and was there for seven years and now I have completed that cycle of seven and now beginning into the eighth year, coming into the eighth year, I have transitioned back to what will now be my forever home in Texas. Um, I will eventually land in Dallas, um, but right now I'm not in Dallas. Right now I'm in Red Oak, Texas, but I'm loving being here. Yes, it is hot as all get out here. <laughs> But that's how it is in Texas in the month of August and going over into September. So I no longer have my etiquette studio in Chicago, but I will eventually have one here. But until that happens, we will be uh, virtual as we have also done when I was in Chicago during the you know pandemic season and all of that. But um, listen, this is where I am and this is where I am loving living life right now. And I just wanted to come on and share that information with you. I've been doing things in the background um, and a lot of other things have been going on. And you'll hear about those things as they come forth. Thank you all so much. Please just say hello in the comment section. Let me know who's watching and where you're watching from. I would so appreciate that. But I wanted to come on and also share that, like I said, I've been doing things in the background and things have been brewing and what have you. Um, I will go back to my regularly scheduled broadcast every day. I'm not sure what the time will be, but I will let you know as I um, get that all settled. But I'm going to upload a video. After I do this one, I want to upload a video that I had the honor of being interviewed by Dwayne Mack of the Coaches Corner his podcast show. So the topic was transformation in coaching. And of course, me being an etiquette educator and coach, he wondered how, hey, got some, my godson is here. Hi. Hi, Lucas. Thank you for joining. Um, he wanted to know how does, and Helen, hello, Helen. Hey, uh, Helen, I'm sorry. Hey, cousin, Mary. Thank you all so much for being here. Oh, thank you for congratulations. I appreciate that so much. Um, he wanted to know how does etiquette transform people? 
when you're a life coach or when you are um, a health and fitness coach and all the different coaches that are out there, there are coaches that wear the label of transformation coach. He wanted to know how does etiquette transform lives? And I had the pleasure of interviewing with him and telling him how my teaching etiquette helps to transform the lives of those that take the class. One thing that I say to almost all of my clientele is the manners that you practice in public, in private, are the ones that will show up in public. So how you dine privately, how you carry yourself privately, the private conversations that you have with other people, um, the things that you do in the business realm, you might say all of those things are public, not necessarily so. Because when you're by yourself, you say, well, that's private and that's um, something that people don't see all the time. They can't see your behavior behind closed doors. But the behaviors and the mannerisms that you practice behind closed doors are the ones that you are accustomed to showing all of the time. So when you take an etiquette class and when you begin to learn the behaviors of proper dining and when you begin to learn um, how to dress, I'm not saying that people don't know these things, but those that are taking my classes are taking them for various reasons, because they want a polisher or because perhaps they are misinformed and they do want to know these things. So all of the subject matter that I cover across the board in my etiquette classes is something that every individual or entity referring to a, a company or a business might want to polish up on or become aware of the new trends and how that might affect them and what they're doing. So that is what I do as an etiquette educator. I educate people and then I turn that education into a new manner or a new behavior that they can then practice with the surety and the confidence that they're doing it in the right manner that they want to embarrass themselves or others. That's when the transformation takes place. So listen, I want you all to jump back on a little bit later when I upload this video of myself and Dwayne Mack on the Coach's Corner talking about how etiquette can transform lives. And listen, as I always say, if you have questions or comments, please put, please put them in the comment section below. And after the video, I will address them at that time. So I just wanted to jump on and share that information. I'm here in, um, eventually in the Dallas, Texas area, and this is my new home. I'm here um, by myself. My family did not transition with me, none of them. So I'm here and loving it, and I will continue to share the updates and new information as it becomes available. But jump back on in about 10 minutes or so and watch that video, and please let me know what you think. And if you have questions about how etiquette or manners or uh, behaviors can transform your life, I'm the person to ask. You know how to reach me. I'll talk to you guys later. This is Lady Victoria signing off. Until the next time, bye for now. Those of you that are just joining, please be kind and rewind. And please remember to like and share across your various social media platforms. I'll talk to you again soon.